What do you see as the role of city council? Uh, how does it fit in with the local government? Well, city council is uh, a microcosm of the federal government in that you have a chief executive officer in charge of the executive branch. In this case, it's the mayor and not the president. And instead of Congress, you have on the, on the city level, you have city council. They're the legislative branch. Uh, and the, so it's the council itself is a bringing together of nine minds from different walks of life to sit down and discuss issues, uh, ideas, projects, whatever the city wants to do to expand or uh, to establish the laws of the land and those kind of things. And the council serves just like Congress and like the state legislature. They're the ones who are supposed to debate these issues. They're supposed to dig into the facts, to come up with really what it is that, that is needed. If it's an, a spending bill, then how much is that actually necessary? Uh, what process do we go through to get the funding for the project? And uh, when they pass it, then it basically goes to the mayor who can veto it and do a lot of things. So it's just, it's the, the democracy that makes up America that goes from a township trustee level all the way up to the federal government. All basically run the same way. And the city council is just that. It's the legislative branch of the local politics, local government. Are there specific issues that you think need to be looked at in the city right now? Um, kind of. What I look at the city is at, at basically a crossroad. Uh, things have been working a certain way in the past, and it usually comes around about every time you have a mayoral election, so that's every four years or so. There's a chance for the city to continue in the direction that they're going in with new and renewed hope or change directions because now you'll have some new leadership, some new people coming into either the mayor's office or his associates or into city council uh, that will change the direction that the city's going to go or pat it on the back and say you're doing a fine job, keep going the way you're going. And so at, at uh, this particular time, some of the issues that I'm looking at is the city is the second largest in the state of Indiana and like most large cities was dying at the core. And this was done uh, kind of by accident. It wasn't really planned this way that as cities began to get bigger and bigger businesses said I need to go where the majority of people are and it's difficult to come downtown, the traffic might be too bad, there's not enough places to park. So we're going to expand out and we're going to put a new strip mall out here in this corner of the city and I want to move my business out there and can I get assistance from the city on tax abatements and those kind of things and these were allowed until you end up looking and all of a sudden you've got a lot of empty storefronts downtown because all of those stores are now moved out into the suburbs. Mm -hmm. And it ends up with an urban sprawl. And, uh, and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and the center of the town's getting smaller and smaller. Fewer people living downtown. Offices are actually moving out because of parking and, and campus type settings rather than the tall office buildings that we were used to in the old days. So we need to look at that Fort Wayne, I think, needs to uh, continue in the progress that they're, they've already started about revitalizing downtown. Uh, was in and out of Indianapolis through the years of the, the dark days of Indianapolis and into the, the rebuilding of Indianapolis. Uh, saw how that was done and what effect it had. And if you were walking around in downtown Indianapolis and uh, 1971, 72, 73, somewhere in there, and go there today. It's a tremendous difference. Clean, vibrant, bright and airy. A lot of new things downtown. And that's what Fort Wayne needs to do. We need to get early on the project. Don't sit around and wait till there's nothing downtown but swirling dust and, and discarded wrappers. Mm -hmm. 
to a place where people with the right mindset can live. They can buy condos or apartments and be on the third or fourth floor of a, of a store building. The restaurants are downtown, entertainment, uh, evening entertainment's downtown, and theater and all those things again come back downtown. Bring some movie houses back downtown. Make it a destination. Headwaters Park's a great idea. Uh, we need to work on some parking facilities. Uh, the big thing was was land was expensive, is expensive, especially in a downtown area. So let's go vertical with them. Let's go subterranean parking lots up to three or four stories, make them part of the landscape, and bring the people back down. Work on the rivers. We're the we're the city of three rivers, and we don't do a thing about it. We don't let people out there to play on the rivers. We don't take care of the river banks. Uh, we don't do anything with them. Be like Pittsburgh, be like Cincinnati, be like St. Louis, that looked at what they had as a natural come and expound on it. You know, so some of those things is what I want to see mm -hmm. uh, downtown. We talked about uh, economic development in a, in a previous meeting and all oh, great bunch of ideas from all the candidates. And I said, yes, I agree with all of those. Ditto all the ideas about going out and being proactive and get the businesses and do all those things. And I reminded them that what we need to do as a city council is to make sure and to work diligently at making the product, which is Fort Wayne, that the economic development salesmen are selling. We need to make sure that the product shows a good place to live, a good place to shop, a clean city, the streets are in repair, uh, things to do, entertainment-wise, it's vibrant, it's alive, to make sure that we make sure that the product is a sellable product out there in the world. Not just the fact that we've got tax abatements and, uh, and good labor force, those are pluses. But we need to make sure that Fort Wayne is some place that people want to move to. It's the visual aspect of, of the town and that just takes care of a lot of little things that the councils need to keep an eye on. So we all get saddled down onto the big issues, we're going to build a new stadium downtown, we're going to expand the county council or the Coliseum or we're going to bring this big factory in that sits on the outer edges of the city. Well those are all good but for those of us who live here we want to still be excited about coming back to Fort Wayne. Mm -hmm. And I think some of that will help the, the drain of people leaving town for one way or another. Mm -hmm. So, let's go back.